You ever been working on something, you ended up breaking the tip right off the stinking dipstick? Well, I'm going to show you how to extract this, how to actually fix it and repair the dipstick that you already got. So if you have one of these little bad lads broke off inside there, you're going to take a pick and you don't really want to push it down in there any further. So you want to be careful and make sure you get the pick down on the edge. Don't worry, if this doesn't work, I've got another trick that, that I can do. You want to work that up until you can get that out. My other trick, I'm going to push it back in there. I'm going to use this little screw and I'm going to put it inside here, physically screw it into the center of it. What we're also going to do once we pull that out, cut the head off the screw and attach our handle to the screw that we have there. We want to be careful not to push down like that. If you're worried about the dipstick falling down inside the dipstick tube, you could grab a pair of vice grips and just apply a little bit of pressure and hold the dipstick so it doesn't fall down while you're screwing it in. And we get in. the screw started in there a little bit. Then we pull it out. Okay, if you're unable to pull that out with your hand, you can always grab a pair of pliers and pull it out that way. What I don't want is the screw in there all kitty wampus. I'm going to end up taking that back out drilling a small pilot hole smaller than my screw, screwing my screw down in the base of this as much as I can, I should be able to go down right to about this little spot right here. Okay, generally these aren't stuck in there that bad. We do not want to use too big a screw because it will split the plastic on the side of the housing. So use the smallest screw you can possibly find and just start it in there with the drill just like I did and I'm certain you'll be able to get this thing out. So I'm gonna drill in there until it grabs and throws off. <laughs> Okay, so now with our pilot hole drilled, we can screw our screw down as far as it can possibly go. Then we'll know how much to cut off so we can attach the two ends. Now that I've got it inside my vise, I'm going to drill into it a little bit further so my screw will go down in it deeper. Now we quite simply screw the screw in until it goes down in there far enough. Do not over screw it because if you do, it will end up splitting the plastic. Now we're gonna take a die grinder, sawzall or whatever and cut the head off of our screw. Now I probably should have ground down this handle a little bit so it was flat and easier for me to drill into, but I just put it back in the vise. I'm gonna drill a hole into it. I'm certain this one's not gonna fall apart, but you could have used super glue in there or some kind of bonding agent to keep the two together easier and better. Well, hopefully you guys were able to fix your dipstick and your car is all back together and all that stuff. If this video was helpful, please consider subscribing, clicking the notification, sharing my videos, give me them sweet old thumbs up. Remember, don't be the next to them. Be the first to you. God bless and have the best of days.